Howdy guys and welcome to Warlord Wednesday and today we're doing Dirty Snow. That's right, we are doing Dirty Snow. It's a long video so stick with it. I do apologise. I do ramble and as usual uh, just enjoy it <laughs> because it can get a bit much. Um, so all I'm concentrating on this is just focusing on how to do the Dirty Snow. Forgetting about the rest of the board for the moment. Let's just focus on this section right here and that's what we're trying to get you guys uh, to get into is creating your dirty snow now this is still wet uh, because this is still going off um, and I just need to do some touching up here and there but the basis of what you're going to learn today is all about how to do uh, this dirty snow effect that you can see around uh, the board or around this tile I should say anyway guys listen enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'm going to see you later you take care Okay guys, so here we are. Well, we've set up, um, I've already started putting snow down on our board already, uh, as you can see. Now, uh, that's done in exactly the same way um, as you would do uh, when you're laying the grass in the previous video to this. Uh, so it's a nice, simple process. You'll have to forgive me, I've been up since the early hours painting all sorts of bits and pieces uh, for videos. But, um, we are at the stage now where we really want to start creating our dirty snow and as we saw on the board or the tile that we had a look at earlier we want to try and re reproduce that for in here as well now i've left this alone uh, so we can video it so the first thing you've got to do is get your brush uh, now i've mixed up some pva and water uh, i always have a big batch of it uh, laying around uh, ready to use. Now I'm using a household painting brush here because I just want to start uh, doing this to lay down uh, bits of areas where I want my snow and the nice thing about this it kind of gets it into places other brushes won't uh, and you're going to get a bit of um, you know sprinkle here and there a little spray here and there but that's not a problem um, now we're not doing the center just yet we're just going to get these side pieces on because what I did want to do with this uh, and you can use a smaller brush uh, this is just I use this because I just like using this brush for for this sort of stuff it lays down a nice bit of glue I mean you can use smaller brushes it's not an issue okay um, but this is the kind of thing I use now I will switch to a, a smaller brush in a minute uh, for certain things now we're going to go in the middle so what I don't want to do is cover all our ice up uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just painting it down the middle section and as you can see that's cracked nicely now we're going to be adding to that ice as well uh, with another layer of uh, water effects now somebody said they couldn't find the water effects that I recommended um, I think it's because uh, that company stopped making it or stopped reproducing it so you might as well uh, try other brands now you can buy smaller bottles uh, uh, they work just as well um, from other companies um, Water Deluxe is absolutely brilliant but it, what it doesn't do is crack um, but you know you may find a way to do it um, okay so I'm just as you can see just sort of adding bits of the glue where I want it and I want to put a bit on those rocks there because it needed it now I want to also add some to this as well some on here like so and around the door area um, as well it's really difficult for me to see because I'm having to look into a monitor to see what I'm doing as I'm doing this okay so let's get that around there now make sure there's plenty on there okay because we really need this to to stick down um, and I don't mind going back over areas as well because we're going to be playing around with this so the nice thing about it as soon as you start hitting it it starts to break up again um, and I literally did this or most of this the early hours of the morning um, when I was getting this video ready for today which is Wednesday um, and I've got my camera back so I'm a happy man so fingers crossed it should not have any more issues um, and, but we'll soon see. Okay, so I'm just going to layer some of this further on as well as you can see there. Okay, so we're at a stage now. That's pretty cool. So 
The next step is to add snow. So let me prepare my snow and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I've got my snow. As you can see, I have a very large tub and there's little bits and pieces in there, mostly leaves and bits of grass and stuff. So I don't mind that because it just adds to it. So um, I'm grabbing out a scoop. I just need to make sure that we get all the good stuff which is down at the bottom. Uh, there's a couple of different mixtures of snow in here and the really fine stuff tends to drop to the bottom while the good, uh, while the, the flock stuff tends to stay at the stop, top. Okay, so look, it's gonna go everywhere. Don't worry, because we can clean that up in a second. But what I'm doing is I'm just gonna sieve it out onto here like so. Okay, it's going to go everywhere. Don't panic. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Name the TV series. Okay, so we're just going to sprinkle it around as much as we can in areas that we need it. Now, it's going to look like a bit of a waste, but it won't be because we'll be reclaiming whatever's left back again. Okay, so let's just sprinkle our winter effects all over the place like so okay right now just leave that to set for a little bit um now the way i do this is i normally have a piece of paper underneath which i turn the board and bang it onto it so all the flock falls off <coughs> excuse me should be wearing a mask as well so uh what i'm gonna do is let's just get that out of there um, I'm just going to tip this, clean up, and prepare for the next stage. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I realised just then that all the lights weren't on, and I do apologise. Okay, so what I've done is I've got, hopefully this is a lot better for you, and you'll be able to see uh, what we've done. Okay, so I've mixed up some water, uh, some PVA water mix in with my wash. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab it a little bit. Um, and I'm going to start tapping it into the side here like so. Um, and this is how we're going to build up our our dirty, dirty snow. Uh, it's literally a process of uh, just dabbing it in while it's still wet because we need it to soak in basically uh, like that. And plus we can, we've got a bit more control about um, where we want it as well. So we can start pushing it up onto the sides like so uh, and clearing out our our funnel so to speak of uh, uh, where the ice is um, and it's just a process of dabbing the first load in because as we go along obviously we want the dirty snow to be pushed up um, to the sides. Now what I tend to do is once I'm in a place where I'm quite happy with it, I get a, a tank, like just a plastic tank, and I, <laughs> like we did earlier on in one of the other videos uh, where we created our track effects uh, in the in the dirt and the mud, um, we do the same thing, and it works out quite nicely. Okay, so I'm just shoving this up like so. We want that dirty look to it. So, you know, just bring that around and around there. And you'll create a lovely, lovely effect once it starts to, to set into place. Okay, so I'm just gonna break that down a bit. And I'm just gonna bring that around there. Bring that in around there. As well okay so you're starting to see where we're going with that uh, and you you should start to see it soaking into where we want it but that's not the finished effect the main effect that we want uh, is just drawing off your brush a little bit okay because we need to start adding in on the top as well because I need it to kind of dry. But you can add, oh sorry just not the camera, you can add a bit more snow into that just to give yourself something that's not too wet to work with. But 
you can basically start picking up areas like this to start getting that really sort of dirty look. You know how you see on the side of the road like where the white snow's fallen but you still see those areas of brown on it like that. That's what we're trying to create and that will create us some really really lovely dirty snow. Um, so go for it just have a bit of fun with it do some tests first by all means because uh, I always find like you never really get it on the first time um, but you will get it at some point it will come to you okay and we've got a gun there let's just clear some of that out so we can see a bit of it uh, cotton bud to hand sure do there we go, so we've got a rifle that's just chucked on the side there. Okay. So it's a bit of a long and it's a bit of a laborious uh, process, but you'll start to see something quite wonderful appearing as it soaks in. Remember to keep it relatively near your, your edging. Um, because, you know, dirty snow isn't it okay so I'm just going to sprinkle a bit more snow in the center because I really need this to to grip on and let's just take that that's it that's better There we go. So we're starting to get it now. It's all starting to come into play. I'm just gently dabbing it because it's still quite pliable. And, you know, we really need it to, to soak up into the white, but we still need our white in there, if you get what I mean. Okay, so there's a path here that is trodden. So we're going to do the same here as well. We're just going to just take off a bit of excess wash mixed with your PVA and we're just gonna crumple that up a bit make it look a little bit worn and and we can tuck up the sides where we want it and we can go in there I'm having to peer over the top because uh, the camera is right up there and it looks like it's really close because i've got a micro lens on but it's right up there trust me uh so it's a little bit uh difficult for me to to actually do bits and pieces now i'm just going to run it over the ice uh, just so i can clear up areas um but i'm going to get this done uh let's just around here just so we can see so you guys can see how that looks okay because what we want is basically the wash and the pva will bond together into the snow and it will create us some really lovely um, effects uh, basic and it also it makes it solid as well so it's not going to come apart and we'll have this beautiful beautiful effect of you know that really dirty snow and if you see it there it looks absolutely gorgeous and it looks like it's you know been walked through or traffic's been going through it and stuff and you know, you there's the dirt that's churned up, the mud and the ice and the fuel, because we can add fuel in there as well, which uh, is going to be quite nice, and uh, some oil effects into it as well. So you can do all sorts of things uh, to make it, you know, stand out and look absolutely amazing. Uh, but it's a nice, simple effect, which will give your boards, or even if you're doing a diorama, a really stunning uh, look. And that's what you want. Something that just sort of stands out and people will be in awe and can't wait to get their troops and tanks onto the board um, wherever they can. Uh, because, you know, a nice board really does stand out uh, and makes people want to 
uh, get in there uh, and have a good go. So I'm going to finish this bit off here around just this area here and then we'll focus on this section here and hopefully mix in this whole area around there as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys and welcome back. Okay so we need to start messing around with this area around here. So I'm just going to start dipping in the brush into the wash and just work on there. Now it just needs a little bit of more PVA so let's just inject some PVA into there and let's just put a bit of PVA uh, around here as well because we need to just finish off this area so we're all happy with it of course. Okay so I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing here because I can't. Um, okay, so just going to sprinkle some snow into that. And let's just take some of our wash. And we're just going to fan it in around there. Let's just take a bit there, okay. And we're gonna add some more. Okay, so it's looking quite nice. So we're slowly getting there. And we need to add Dirty snow around here, like so. Okay, I, th I think we're going to have to rotate the board again because I'm finding it difficult to get into areas because I can't actually see them, uh, and that's mostly around these areas here. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate it slightly, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so this has got to be the most difficult paint job ever because. Everything seems to be in the way. Uh, camera, everything. Okay, let's, let's just finish that off around there. Now the only thing I have got, I don't know if you can see it, is there's a slight green coming through on the snow. So I'm going to have to uh, paint that um, and clean that up around there as well on the trees. And it's going to happen because it's the dye from uh, the trees that are used. Um, it just kind of soaks through uh, in through the PVA uh, and into that. But there are other ways of doing it. I mean, you, there is a, um, a spray that you can get that helps stick it onto there. But I did try it and on my test piece, again, it soaked, uh, soaked right through. So the best bet is to just try different materials out at the end of the day. Um, but these are beautiful trees and I really wanted to use these uh, in this process. Okay, so we're just going to clean up around there. Now the idea here is we don't need to go too mad um, further out because our vehicle's been destroyed anyway. And I feel that you know if we just sort of finish it off around here somewhere, uh, and just to add some smaller tracks into it, uh, let's just get rid of some of that, that's too much on that brush. Uh, I mean, we can kind of just sort of like paint it in. You know, we know it stops around about here anyway because of this. Um, and we can just add in, you know, just little bits and pieces just to make it look spiffy sort of thing uh, and make it look nice. Uh, and let's just come in around there and make that a little bit darker really sort of pad it in and around there as well okay so that's starting to look nice now we can add a bit more snow I feel just around about here and we can add some more snow just around this area because you know we want that build up of of snow to make it look stunning uh, like so. Okay, so let's just take a little bit of PVA, watered down of course, All right, and we'll just gently get it, put it into there, 
doesn't matter if it, if it goes over uh, we kind of want to just use it to build up like so and we can come in with our let's just put a bit of PVA on that brush let's just come in there just pad that in we've got our wash on there so it just adds to it really um, and we want it stained as much as possible because where there's lots of traffic lots of human traffic and lots of vehicle traffic the area will be very very stained okay there we go that is looking absolutely lovely let's just chunk some snow up in that corner and get my hand around there Okay, it's looking good. Maybe just a bit more snow in there. And let's put a bit more in there. What you will find is give it a day or so for it to dry, and then you can go back in and you can add things like uh, your water effects. You can then also use a hoover to to you know to suck up bits of it that that you really uh, don't think you know that should loose and stuff uh, and plus it gives you a chance to go in and clean up areas as well and play around with areas as well um, and make that work here we go okay so we're starting to get there we can sort of dab bit more dirty snow in this area just stain it a bit and we'll just do that as well okay so that is how you create your dirty snow. Now I hope that's really helped. Uh, let it dry, go back in, clean stuff up. Now what I'm gonna do is let this dry um, and we'll give it like a day or so and then we'll add in uh, some other bits and pieces here. Uh, the nice thing about it is we haven't got too much snow around there, which is generally what you get. It tends to, to fall on the higher race stuff and you see a lot more, you see less on the ground around uh, the barbed wire. The sandbags would be covered along the top which is what we want um, and we've built up our dirty snow along the side there uh, and you can even just go in and just sort of clean up stuff by you know just darkening down areas um, that you want uh, to look a bit more uh, you know used so to speak a bit more uh, dirty where the snow falls. Uh, it's a great opportunity just to play around uh, make sure you do your tests first and you're happy and you'll get some really really beautiful effects okay guys right so I'm gonna let this dry then we're gonna add in our water effects and I'll see you guys in a second howdy guys and welcome back okay so it's dry kinda uh, no, it's nearly dry, so I'm, I'm going to risk it. Normally, I would just let this settle for a few days and then I'd add uh, my water effects. Now, you can use any old water effects from different companies. Uh, the more expensive it is, the better it gets. But, you know, that's not to say that some of the cheaper brands aren't going to work for you either. Uh, so I think this one's discontinued. I just happen to have a very large bottle of it left. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just let it sort of flow out as we did last time i'm just going to let it find its place um, and let it settle in there uh, obviously uh, i want it to sort of like go over the top of the last lot um, so we can have a bit of a layer system going on in there um, and what we do is we just carry that on and, and just feel that like that and then Obviously just stick it in there and you know the nice thing about this is if it's in a dispenser something you've got control of you can pretty much just layer it how you want uh, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, so let's just get that in there. And a bit more around there as well. Okay, let that settle. Okay, now normally I'd get a brush, so that's what I'm going to do. And with that brush, I'm just sort of helping it get into the areas of where I really need it to settle. So sometimes there'll be just a little bit of a lip that stops it from getting over. So if we can just spread that out a bit in that area and get it around there. Now the worst case scenario is this uh, dries and cracks all the center. So I'm kind of hoping that it's strong enough at the moment because it's still pretty damp uh, with the glues drying that it will just hold its form so fingers crossed it should do and we should be okay so I'm just spreading that out keep it going like so and we should have a perfect finish for today. Uh, don't worry if there's a few air bubbles in there, that can only add to the effect. And let's just bring that there. Now, what you can do is go around looking for areas that you want it to go into, like little, just little areas where you want, you, know, you want ice and stuff like that. Now there are products out there you can use to make ice, I just don't have any, and this is what I tend to use because I know for a fact when this dries, it will just crack all the way down the center, um, <clears throat> which will just uh, give me some lovely effects. Saying that, it probably won't do that now, um, but we've seen it before and it really does give a lovely, lovely effect. So I hope this has been a huge help. Uh, we're gonna move on to trees later uh, and talk about why trees go yellow when you spray it with snow. Um, and how you can beat that effect um, and also on the next tile we do we'll be doing uh, laying down extras like grass and stuff like that so guys you be good you be safe have a smashing week and i'm going to see you very very soon take care